Hello everybody, today in front of me I have the Xiaomi 12T Pro and in this video I would like to share the top 5 Pro tips and features for this device. So to start off I would like to demonstrate how you can set your fingerprint to be the uh, screen unlock method. So open settings, then go for the passwords and security category. In here tap on the fingerprint unlock, well section or field. Uh, prior to adding the fingerprint, it is also required that we uh, set the backup screen lock method as well. The available options list we can choose from goes as pattern, pin or password. I'll go with the pattern. Then set the pattern that you would like to use. After that, redraw it and confirm. Next, you can start adding the fingerprint by laying and lifting your desired finger onto the scanner that is located right over here at the lower part of your display. So just lay, gradually lay and lift. Don't be afraid to apply a slight force and well, press a bit harder if uh, the fingerprint does not get recognized or uh, is not being scanned. Make sure to enroll all the edges and all the angles of your fingerprint which you can achieve by just changing the placement of your finger and as you can see <coughs> the fingerprint unlock has been successfully enrolled let, let me just quickly go ahead and test it out alrighty So the screen gets unlocked without any issues or difficulties at all, so it works just fine. Moving on to the next feature, that is the uh, always on display one. In order to set it up, just enter the respective category in settings, go for the always on display section and switch this toggle on. After that, you can choose what items will be displayed or I mean how the items will be displayed. Should I say when the items uh, should be displayed or time is a charm. So you can either set it to be 10 seconds after tapping to be always visible or to for the AOD to be always enabled or set some custom schedule for it to be switched on and switched off. I'll set it to be always for, just for the sake of uh, visual representation, let's say. Uh, next, choose the design that you would like to go with. Uh, you can uh, write a uh, custom text, go for the analog clocks, kaleidoscope, digital clock, or some cool image background. I'll go with this astronaut, for example. Then set text color to be, mm, I don't know, how do you call this color? A light purple, magenta color, probably. Uh, then choose whether uh, which items you would like to be displayed. In this case, it allows me to turn on and turn off the visibility for battery and uh, notifications. But I want to have both, so I'll uh, leave them enabled. Then apply the set design. And now we can see uh, what does the always on display we have opted for look like, like so. You can also set some custom image to be your AOD background by simply uh, going for the My Theme, then add a custom image. I don't know, <laughs> let me just add this chair picture, for example. Now I'll apply it and it will be looking like so. All right, so the third feature, the third configuration for this video is located at the display category of settings. So let me enter it real quick. It is called the uh, refresh rate uh, and well there are basically two values to choose from either 60 or 120 Hertz. Uh, so long story short 60 Hertz will save you a battery, 120 Hertz will provide you with the smoother and silkier animations and to like generally visual experience. You can either change and switch the screen refresh rate uh, value uh, manually or you can set it to be at the default value which will automatically switch between available uh, refresh rates automatically uh, well, in accordance with the AI algorithms and your system state as well as battery state of course. Already the next uh, small tip or small feature that we wanted to highlight today 
uh, is located at the special features category. It is called the heart rate and it allows you to use your fingerprint scanner as the, in order to measure your heart rate, your pulse. So just lay a finger onto the scanner. Uh, as you can see, we'll get this little countdown. So make sure not to uh, well, lay your finger off the screen until the countdown will be finished. So it will be able to measure exactly how many bits per minute you have as per the hard refresh rate of yours. In my case, it's 91. Uh, and just like so, you can very easily, conveniently and quickly uh, with a great precision as well, measure your uh, pulse slash heart uh, rate already so the fifth and final feature is located at the additional settings category it is called the memory extension and it provides you with an opportunity to increase the random access memory amount that you have by three gigabytes by occupying the internal storage by basically it takes three gigabytes of memory from rom and moves it to ram if you can say so emulates basically those two those three gigabytes uh to access uh, ram so switch on the toggle, reboot the device and now we'll wait until the phone gets restarted and see whether the changes we have uh, made will take effect. Already I'll quickly enter the SIM pen and now once I'll go to the uh, specs of my phone which I can access by or through settings about phone all specs i'll see that in addition to the default eight gigabytes of ram i've successfully added another bonus three gigabytes already so that would be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your attention if you have any comments or any questions or any suggestions even do not hesitate to write them at the comment section below and bye bye